welcome to Wake TV. So today I want to talk about five women you definitely want to avoid when you are thinking about marrying or considering a serious relationship. Before we get right into the topic, those of you who don't know me, I'm Erica Fruzano. I'm a rapid love transformation expert. I help people to break through doubt, fear, pain, to get the clarity, true love, and a happiness in relationships. So, what kind of woman you should avoid when you're thinking about a marriage or, you know, want to seriously date someone? Number one, you want to avoid a manipulative woman. You guys think you guys are super smart and you can just pinpoint that kind of woman right away? No, you can't. Because you're guys. Usually, like, we can pinpoint that kind of bitches right away. Because they act really sweet and caring and, you know, nice around the guys. And they usually are really good at like uh, being passive aggressive and blame on other people. So they're super manipulative emotionally, but guys don't notice that we do. You know, a lot of times when we point out our male friends, you know what, like you may want to take a time to go out with her to find out more about her or something like that. It's a subtle hint that she's kind of fishy, but we don't want to tell you up front unless you ask us, you know, or we know you might not listen because you're so stubborn. But it's a good idea to, you know, if you're looking for the one who really makes you happy and you want to make her happy because the relationship is two-way road, not one side. You definitely want to avoid a manipulative woman. And after you get married and you find out that this woman is super manip manipulative and you have a kids with her, you're like in the shit hall. And you don't want to find out about that that late. That's a part of the reason you want to get coaching from women because we know how manipulative women can be. Most likely, she's going to present you super sweet, amazing personality during the courtship, which is a fake personality. But usually when women are faking it, we can tell right through what kind of bitch she is, especially when we deal with her means like you know interact with her so you know for the test it's a, always a good idea to introduce your dating prospect to couple with your female friends who are not into you but who are really your friend you know could be lesbian friend is okay too because they're not into guys so they can give you like really good opinion about what this woman is all about you know, so manipulative women, you definitely want to watch out for. And most of the guys, according to my experience, they can't tell. They think, oh, she's so sweet. No, she's not. Number two, you want to avoid a woman who doesn't respect your time. In other words, she's needy and clingy. She's not gonna like represent herself that way. But when you think about, you know, how much time you have a day and how much time you're dedicating your time for her, if that is your choice, that's fine. But if you have to give up on something really important to dedicate the time because 
she needs your emotional assurance that she needs you to do something which she can definitely do on her own it doesn't have to be you to do that that is someone who is clingy and needy if you're a type of guy who has like all time in your hand and you know not having any kind of ambition or dream or to be a real man maybe that's okay you have plenty of your time or you're really worried about what she thinks about you. But you know what? If Uma is really into you and really in love with you, she always thinks about what she can do for you, not you can do for her. So especially if you're a busy guy who is successful, she's gonna think about how you can, you know, be helpful to make your time more useful for your business or for your personal life, you know? So she wanna cooperate with you to create that time. That could be your sleeping time because you're not maybe sleeping enough because you're too busy, you know? You could be like the going out with your buddies because that time is necessary as well. You know, you can just be with your girlfriend. You need to socialize with your buddies. You know, that's important. If she doesn't understand the importance of hanging out with your friend, that's it. that is not worthy material for your future partner, for sure. Um, so those type of women you wanna watch out for. You know, like, she not gonna look that clingy or needy but think about how much time you have to take out for her because it was necessary, not that you want to. That's a sign of, sign of neediness and a clinginess. Number three, someone who lies. You know, like, I don't really care, like, uh, white lie or any kind of lie. If someone lies, that is showing the person's character. You know, she can come up with tons of excuses why she lied to you, but if you are someone who really considered about you, you know, if she really considered about you, your well-being, and if you get affected by her lie or hurt by her lie, she wasn't obviously thinking anything about you. She was only thinking about, thinking about herself. So don't get fooled by that. Relationship is based on trust. And the trust is not going to get like built in one day. It's like every day, daily dedication, the effort. And some people say, you know, you had to trust people from the beginning. Maybe, but you know what? You gotta be realistic. You gotta earn trust. And number four, someone who doesn't, you know, even try to get along with your friend or family, that is a red flag. Of course, like, you know, it's a human relationship and it's not automatically easy, you know. Someone doesn't like someone for various reasons your girlfriend could be like a different race or something and your family automatically not gonna like her because of her race, that happens. But regardless, if your girl doesn't try at all to you know, step toward your family or friends to get along, you really wanna think about what kind of life you wanna have with this girl. Because most likely, you got to be in between your family, your friend and her, and she going to say, oh, which one is important for me? Your family or me? Or, oh, you're going to go out with your friend? Like, I'm not important anymore? You don't want to put yourself in that kind of shit. You know what I mean? You want to, like, live in harmonious relationship. And if your family is like, uh, or friend is kind of unreasonable and kind of judge her 
whatever the reason, because of her social background or race or whatever, like something she cannot do anything about, then you got to be a man and protect your woman. But beside that, your woman need to or try to get along with your people. And you're going to do the same for her people as well. It's not one-sided. And lastly, number five, sexual compatibility. It's super important, you know, like we overlook that just, you know, because like she looks good on the paper or she looks really pretty and you feel really good in bed, but it's not like a mind blowing or anything. I mean, after like 10, 20 years, keep on having sex with the same people, the same person, you're gonna get really bored. I mean, you can try to freshen up or whatever, but sexual compatibility is really important. Love making is not about making effort to do it. It happens because you love each other so much. Okay, I was saying five, but I wanna do another thing. The lastly, Financial compatibility is important. I'm not talking about you guys need to make same amount of money. I'm saying your attitude toward the money need to be similar. Like if you are the person who is considerate about the money and want to spend money in big important moment and want to save money, if she doesn't respect how you want to um, value your money and she has totally different point of view about that. It's going to be difficult to continue like serious relationship or marriage because you always need to fight about it. It doesn't have to be same, but she has to at least like uh, see your point of view and agree with you. Best is if she can see exactly how she's, you're seeing. So that's what I wanted to add. Um, I hope this was helpful. So watch out those women. And beside that, be open-minded and then just go look for the one. You never know who the person would be. You know, that's kind of exciting. But be a good guy, not some kind of a uh, user to sleep around a woman and make them hard, okay? Anyhow, those of you who wanna have a strategy call, I'm gonna do the call with you guys to solve your problem. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.